It's always the failed artists. It's always the failed artists. We actually, it's the commonality between all of these like weirdo conservative haters. It's always the failed artist career that leads them down the hole of evil. So I've been telling you guys about how I think personally right wing violence has been going crazy recently and will only get worse the more that conservatives lose. Some of you all might remember our talks about that. And it seems like, unfortunately, my prediction and the FBI's prediction, the DOJ's prediction, basically every researcher's prediction on this, that the more conservatives lose, the more they're going to turn to violence and think that no other means is possible for being able to get what they want is going to ramp up. Okay? I've seen people like Charlie Kirk talk about trying to you know, take out, let's say, people on the border who cross illegally, conservatives pushing bills that makes it easier for you to end somebody else's life, and their whole talks about being in a complete war. Even Donald Trump came out to talk about how they're in now a holy war against Taylor Swift. If you believe that everything is falling apart, and there aren't any free elections anymore, and everything's stolen, and we're losing the country, and soon you're going to be next, and uh, Joe Biden is, it, it, and if you're not brown, there's going to be check like melanin checkpoints and if you're not brown enough you're going to be kidnapped and be put in um austin birkenau if you say that you love jesus too much right so this is what this is the conservative party that we've been talking about and obviously this type of rhetoric especially great replacement -y rhetoric has led to has led to situations like dylan roof has led to situations like the christchurch shooting as well so many shoot i can't even think of the, uh, all of them off the top of my head at the moment that are that have been tied to right-wing ideologies absolutely many of them have been and it's only ticking up right-wing ideology is the number one predictor for political violence right now in the country and the story that we're going to be talking about right now is absolutely no different because only a couple days ago as of this recording there's been something else that came out in pennsylvania just a couple states away from me even a pennsylvanian man was arrested after beheading his dad on YouTube. I ain't lying. Beheading his dad on YouTube, okay? So let's take a look at this real quick. A Pennsylvania man has been arrested for allegedly ending his father before displaying his severed head in a gruesome YouTube video while spouting right-wing conspiracy theories. Justin Moan, 32, is accused of ending his father, Michael Moan, police told NBC News. Moan was taken into custody about 100 miles away from the crime scene on suspicion of first degree abuse of a corpse and possession of an instrument of crime with intent. According to police, he was arraigned at 4 a.m. and denied bail. In the YouTube video, which is titled Moans Militia, Call to Arms for the Amer for American Patriots, and cited a police complaint, Moan is seen wearing gloves and holding his father's head in a plastic bag. Later, the head can be seen in a cooking pot. He actually put his dad's head in a crock pot. Yeah. So the reason you may be wondering why he did this. So the reason for why he did this is because his dad, who lives in Pennsylvania, was a federal employee. OK, the 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 thing is, is that he believed that his dad was working with Joe Biden to destroy the country. And so he must pay for his crimes against the American people and all real patriots by having his life taken from him and having his head cut off. All right. Taliban Tucker is catching on, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Taliban Tucker 100% catching on. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Tucker has told people to start to. And Tucker has specifically told his viewers to get guns and protect themselves from the left. I mean, this is the guy who specifically went on air to his millions of viewers and, and told them verbatim that he would vote for a fascist because the left is voting for too many rights for minorities. Like this, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, man. These people, just a lot of these people just believe in violence. You have to be careful. Now, I'm not saying that every conservative does or something, but there's a very visible, real strain of conservatives that are very sympathetic to political violence against their perceived enemies for believing that everything's wrong with the country and not believing that there's any other course of action outside of just starting to cut people down. 
it's very real and real people are losing their lives because of it right wing extremism has gotten absolutely crazy i mean just i i mean think of it there was a poll done not too long ago that people said that donald trump is now mainstream right even a couple years ago like the way this guy talks would not be mainstream i mean before 2016 like even the, like the majority of the Republican Party was talking about how crazy this guy was and how and how he's going to destroy. Lindsey Graham even came out to say how he was going to destroy the Republican Party and they were going to deserve it. I think he was right and he still is correct. It's just it's it's scary. It's scary, man. It's not good. They deny reality on first principles, right? Wait, he didn't he didn't upload a video. He streamed it. He went live. He was like, "Wow, this head's pretty crazy, Chet." thankfully they don't have pictures of like the severed head i think i saw i i think i saw a picture of it actually and he was holding gloves it, it looked like it genuinely looked like a scene from like american psycho where this he was holding the head and he was holding like his dad's head up to the camera in in like a bloody plastic bag and it, it was actually the craziest shit i've ever I, I kind of just scrolled past it because I didn't want to like take a really good look at it. But in my peripheral, I'll, I, don't, I don't think I'll, I'll I don't think I'll forget it. It's it's really bad. Yeah, that's how he starts the video. Oh, I see somebody who loves to scroll through live leak here. Somebody was really enjoying it. Oh, some somebody somebody went searching for that video the second they knew it was out there. Ooh, gimme. He also tried to sue the U.S. government. Because he said black people in affirmative action was making him take out too many student loans. Yeah, this is not the guy that we want anywhere in like normal society. Oh, you didn't see it? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Live leak enjoyers mod check. Help, help me. In a statement, a YouTube spokesperson, spokesperson said the video was taken down because of its strict policies prohibiting uh, graphic violence and extremism, right? Bowen has filed at least three lawsuits against the federal against federal agencies, including the U.S. government, claiming they negligently caused him to take out student loans between 2010 and 2014. He paid a filing fee of two thousand dollars, and after the claim were claims were dismissed, he sought to have the judges recuse him from the case because of what he claimed was personal bias and a conflicting personal financial interest. In a legal opinion on the case, a judge called the accusations entirely speculative and without factual basis, and said Moan's complaints were the inaccurate allegations of a disappointed college graduate. Moan also sued his former employee, Progressive Insurance, in uh, 2020, sorry, in 2020, alleging wrongful termination and sex discrimination based on men. He was also hired as a customer service representative in October 2016 and was fired in August 2017 after he kicked open the faculty's doors. Court records show this guy is actually has been unhinged for a while work for progressive so if this is the case he's been on this like sort of conservative culture war crusade for a while because this is exactly the type of stuff that they've been talking about recently like i mean there is uh, some of you okay have you guys seen this before some of you all have the have the bird app i want to talk about this soon have you all seen this before yeah this this is an ad that's been on twitter for a while okay 50 million views i saved it Okay. Attention, students and young professionals. Have you been denied an intern an, an internship, job, or promotion because you are white, Asian, or male? Have you been discriminated against in the name of diversity, equity, and inclusion? We want we want to hear from you. Okay. This is America First Legal. You may be wondering what the heck this is. This is a company that's ran by the the far right nazi sympathizer who used to be in donald trump's administration in in 2017 stephen miller okay so stephen miller that guy started america first legal which is a legal like consulting nonprofit organization made specifically to combat the civil rights act their goal is to overturn the civil rights act and that's basically the number one thing that they're doing. So they're soliciting, they're soliciting people who can bring up cases that they hope that can finally make it to the Supreme Court so they can overturn the Civil Rights Act almost in its entirety. That's their number one goal. OK, and they're not just 
a and they're not just like a shitty joke okay because you you would think that something is stupidly named and the poorly idea as like america first legal would just be completely thrown away they haven't now some of you might remember when we covered a steven crowder segment about how the government wanted to give benefits and aid packs to minority farmers to help them catch up with like white farmers because they've always been behind and have suffered from discrimination from like the, the beginning of this country okay so steve steven said that it was a bad idea and he hated it because black people only know how to grow hennessy and crack cocaine trees lincoln must have been um, a brother too because only another black person would want to free the slaves all that type of stuff okay but from that video spawned the idea from that video and other conservatives talking about how much they hated this spawned the um, America First legal organization and they actually successfully brought a case from those white farmers who didn't want black farmers to get aid all the way up to the Supreme Court and then got that um, and, and then got that aid package struck down. Um, and so those farmers uh, who are waiting for that aid pack to be able to, you know, produce more produce for people got completely struck down and and they weren't able to get that aid because of specifically america first legal i don't know if they um brought any other successful uh, legal cases against like minorities but that's the first one that they've been able to do and they want to do as far as i know and, that, and they want to do more they've been advertising on on twitter a whole lot to be able to hopefully get other people to uh, to hop on and help them overturn the civil rights act in total Anyways, moving on, moving on. A district court ruled that uh, Moan failed to establish a case of discrimination. When Moan was filing a lawsuit, his parents were giving him about $540 a month. He indicated in the court filings. Shortly before Progressive fired him, he had taken a trip to Vegas to see if he could pursue a music career, according to the law. It's, it's always the failed artists. It's always the failed artists. We actually... It, there's there's a commonality between all of these like it's it's the Hitler effect, man. It's the commonality between all of these like weirdo conservative like weirdo conservative haters. It's always the failed artist career that leads them down d d down like a hole of evil. It's one hundred percent the Hitler effect. It has to be. 100% there's there's no other way to describe it, right? It all starts with a failed art career. Where does it end? I guess dead or in jail, right? I could have been famous, dad, Moan screamed. So we ban artists, inshallah. Moan was highly active on social media where he mo promoted his self-released music and books, including uh, dystopian science fiction. A nonfiction book released via Amazon in 2017 titled The Revolution Leaders Survival Guide. The Re Revolution Leaders' Survival Guide. Revolution Leaders' Survival Guide? Shouldn't there be like a S then apostrophe? Anyways. Contains a transcript of the letter to then President Donald Trump warning of a peaceful revolution helped by the author if positive change does not come to America and the world soon. The suspect's mother, Denise Moan, found the father's body and called the police around 7 p.m. When police arrived at the family home in Midtown Township, they found Michael Moan in a uh, downstairs bathroom, decapitated with a large amount of blood around him. I can imagine that happens when you get your head cut off. According to police complaint, a machete and a large kick kitchen knife were found in the bathtub. Uh, police found a Moan's head inside a plastic bag in a cooking pot in a bedroom next to the bathroom, according to a complaint. They also found uh, bloody clear rubber gloves and, um, in another bedroom. In the YouTube video, the suspect is seen wearing similar gloves. I wanna know if he actually thought that he was going to get away from that. Well, I guess not because he's making a video about it, right? A lot of these types of people, it's less about them thinking that they're gonna get away with it and them wanting to be martyrs because they think that if they commit their crime and then they die or go to jail or something, then it will spark an entire movement of people who will then commit crimes and, and die and go to jail. And if they all commit crimes, then maybe the cops won't be able to stop them and then they'll get their beautiful revolution. So that's the plan. It's the same as those like Boogaloo boys that we found out was 
it, it was like Boogaloo, the group, you know, that uh, that group of people where some of them tried to start a race war in 2020 by uh, killing multiple black and white uh, protesters to try to g- force the black and white people to like um, uh, fight each other to the point where an all out race war would happen and they and their ideology would rise from the ashes. Apparently, those guys, that that group was actually founded by that Wendigoon um, YouTuber guy. Crazy stuff. I had I had no clue that happened. <laughs> Uh, but it did but it did um but it did he said he doesn't like the group anymore so huh what yeah when you know how wendigoon likes to wear like um you guys ah uh, some of you all didn't catch that stream yeah anyways we went over wendigoon the the streamer and his old reddit posts where he admitted to creating the the anti-government boogaloo boy group that's supposed to be like for the people and and like for the people and against like government like overreach or whatever but but then it went kind of crazy and then he disowned it and then it spiraled out of control and then it led to some people killing multiple people during blm protests and then being caught by the police and before they got caught they cut their hand and wrote the word boogaloo on an suv in blood um because all oh, because they wanted to start a race war to, uh, to 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 rise from the ashes, yeah. He said he he said he's not part of the group anymore. He says he's not part of the group anymore. He says at least. Anyways, uh, Denise Moan told police that she'd last been home for two since two p.m. and that her son was the only person with his father. When she when she returned home that evening shortly before calling the police, it seemed like they were decent parents too. Honestly, like he he worked as like a he, he worked as like you know just like a federal like a federal I don't want to say agent because I don't know exactly what he was doing. He just worked as like a federal employee, right? Dude could have just been the guy like making sure old people get their social security, and he was like this, and he was like you have to die for supporting Joseph R. Biden Jr. There are so many government jobs that you can have that isn't like CIA torturing uh, people and like the b- b- funneling adrenochrome to babies or something. Who knows? Yeah, they gave him like a half a thousand dollars a month in allowance as a 32 year old man. Like, I mean, come on. <laughs> what more could you ask for? I guess I guess his father's decapitated head. I guess that's all. That's more what you can ask for. Please later stop moan in Fort in Indiana town gap. What? In Fort Indiana Town Gap, about 100 miles away from the crime scene, driving a car that was missing from the family home. Fort Indiana Town Gap near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, um, has a National Guard training facility. Yo, wait, was 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 bro planning to like try to kill more more National Guards? Well, well, more more federal employees like National Guardsmen. That, That it's possible. He wanted them to join him. No, he wanted to recruit them. Okay, let me see. Because I think I have another article. I think I have another article here that goes over more of uh, more of the actual video. There are a lot of unanswered questions, and he's not talking to us about the incident. Well, he's he's talking, just not about this. One of the detectives said, who was outside the Mont's house just before dawn on Wednesday. Police trying to put together a timeline of events, and it remains cle- unclear why Moan, 32, fled to Indiana Town, um, home of the large National Guard Training Center. Moan has been charged with possession of an instrument of crime. We saw all that. That's the house. Moan posted a 14-minute YouTube video around 5.30 p.m. Tuesday. In it, he holds up the head. He described his father as a traitor in his violent anti-government ramblings on video. Yo, you think this guy watched Joe Rogan? It's very possible. On Wednesday afternoon, authorities confirmed Michael Moan uh, was a retired civil engineer for the Army Corps of Engineers YouTube video where he moans militia and a call to arms. He definitely was a Rogan fan. I'm telling you it's possible. Uh, he is he is now in hell for eternity as a traitor to, the, to his country. Moan said about his father that he filmed in the bedroom. In a video, Moan described himself as the commander of America's National Network of Militia, which he had called Moan's Militia. And also the title of his uh, YouTube channel is called Moan's Militia, which had 15 subscribers and eight videos as of Tuesday night. Okay, what are these? Aspiring, aspiring YouTubers. Very interesting. 
Yo, what is he yapping about? He not He's just like me for real. Only I haven't beheaded people though. That makes that's what's different. It, it, you, know, you think you know it's crazy that people have been trying so many different things to break out as a YouTuber now since the scene is uh, pretty well saturated. You do hate to see it. It's like those two people that tried to break it out, break out in YouTube by by the guy telling his girlfriend to shoot him in the chest, but with a deagle. But he was holding a telephone book, so he thought he was going to be safe. Crazy stuff. Anyway, he's dead. If you if you if you weren't. You didn't hear about that story. Anyways, the video reviewed by news uh, by this news organization includes a manifesto style rant in which Moan calls on his followers to take action against federal employees. It is titled Calls to Arms for American Patriots. After holding up his father's head, he now he says he now controls the American police and military and calls for the execution of federal employees and puts bounties on the FBI director, the attorney general and chief Supreme court, even, even chief justice Roberts. He wants to, he wants to end the Roberts too. everybody, man. This is crazy. I am the king of the police and the, 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 and the, <laughs> I'm the king of police and malicious. I can do everything. Cutting off family's head makes you the president. Yo, what do we live in? Like a like a Greek myth? What, what is this? Sorry, severed? Yes, he cut off his dad's head with a machete. You know? It's just, I'm telling you, right-wing conspiracies do actually lead to violence. This is the big difference between a lot of left-wing and right-wing conspiracy theories. Because like left-wing conspiracy theories do not lead to this level of violence in this country cuz like even if some people want to say that they're that like the left like far left and far right are like equally bad it's just not it's it just does not seem to be the case especially when it comes to the level of violence committed by people for ideological reasons it's just not the case and when people try to like label left wing violence at least in this country what they mean is somebody somebody from like a demographic group that people on the left usually believe are oppressed right so they'll think like they'll they'll think like a i don't know like a black person doing some like crazy nationalist like killing if that if that has ever happened before as like a left wing killing when it's actually conservative ideology again is just like a black person did it but it just make, doesn't make any sense that a minority equals the left it's just it's just not true you've seen right-wing conservatives before they're not they're usually not good people if i'm gonna be honest but that's just me he rails against the lgbt community black lives the black lives matter movement and quote terrorist organizations such as antifa no no you can't even pronounce it he calls for the seizure of federal buildings and says federal employees should should be uh, publicly executed for betraying the country mon also says his call to action is only aimed at federal employees and he says state employees and officials should be left unharmed. We're getting contacted by some people in the community that know us and know him and his family, and we're hearing a lot. Obviously, he's well known in the community just by the calls we're getting. Finley said Middletown has had several contacts with Justin Moan over the years, but nothing serious or criminal, they said. It seems this guy has always, there's always been a problem with this guy. Antifa equals terrorist says the wannabe terrorist. He's not even a wannabe terrorist. He is a terrorist. Like by like by definition, committing like political crimes, um, especially when in terms of violence against just private citizens, um, obviously for political aim. Like that's that is a pretty reasonable definition of terrorism. He is just like an actual terrorist, even though he only got one person. I can't help but think of all the seniors that work on my local post office. Yeah, he wants he wants people who work at the post office, the people who sign off on Social Security. He wants them executed for what? Being under Joe Biden, be, working for the federal government. It's crazy because I mean, like conservatives have been completely in, like, overtaken by this conspiratorial thinking that just makes you feel good because you feel like you're somebody who's more knowledgeable, you're stronger, you're better. You're like a better you're 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 a better person all these types of things that make you feel like an important person when you're actually simply just deranged right i mean just look at the explosion of of, of like QAnon, right i know a lot of people aren't talking about it as much anymore but it's still very much a real thing and very terrible i mean just this weekend and we're going to be looking at that here in a second just this weekend the um 
what was it called like the take back our border there was uh there was a militia of people and a group of people who like drove down to the border because they thought that they were going to see immigrants pouring across the border like a horde they're just like sprinting down they're going to and they were going to like stop them or something what they actually did was have like a little like makeshift picnic where they all sat around with their trump flags near um near near eagles pass the basically big point of contact where a lot of um uh, the the it, it is the powder keg right the uh the place in texas where the most amount of illegal border crossings happen where they saw nothing nothing almost literally nothing happened but they talked about how much but but they talked about how much they think like hamas and hezbollah was coming across the border to plan 9 but bigger this time where they destroy every building like in the war in, in in america or something right it's absolutely crazy if you don't believe me i mean take a look at this okay this is what happened the other day this is this is what this is these are the people that conservatives are listening to these days if you want to understand why they act so weird when you hear that shit you better get ready your thumb better be flipping off that safety switch and get ready for combat because this shit's game on right now when we're down in the Darien gap we're seeing afghans come across constantly shut our chuck holmes see them hell taylor see them and vander seal see them and they're coming across our border every day right let me tell you what hamas are you listening to me listen hamas is coming across Hezbollah is coming across. Venezuela is filled with Hezbollah. You understand that? Venezuela is filled with Hezbollah. They speak Spanish fluently. Their soccer team is Venezuelan, right? Their body language is Venezuelan. They grew up in Venezuela. When you hear that, you better get ready. <laughs> what the f- What are you doing? <laughs> Ooh, you guys, you better get ready. I'm telling you, you're more easily manipulated by somebody who has an agenda. So these people have agendas of be getting you to buy guns, to feed into their your polit their political ideology, to give them money, right? To give them a platform, to give them a voice. There's something that they're trying to get out of you, whether you know it or not. There's something you're trying they're trying to get out of you, and it's important to recognize that to help stop other people, especially family members and friends, who can fall into this type of fall into this type of rhetoric and end up as like a guy sitting at home beheading his father because he believes that he's a part of the system trying to take down America by working for the federal government. Everybody doesn't think that it'll happen to them until it does. I mean, nobody really thinks that they're going to be involved in like a, a public shooting, school shooting or something until it happens, right? Nobody ever thinks that it will until it does. I'm just saying that you need to make sure. You, well, I'm just saying that it's important to have the ability to talk down people like that and to stop people from going down roads that could even lead to that in the first place to help make this world a better place. But these conservative talking heads are literally using this fear, this division, instilling it, boldening it, and then hardening it and turning it into a weapon for their own political gain. And they win in some cases when it comes to, uh, when it came to like getting a bunch of anti-trans laws passed, they succeeded in that, but they lost something way better, which is they lost something way more important, which is the sanity of millions of human beings in this country that will lead them to ruin and they'll take down other people as well that's one of the saddest things about it you know from like the buffalo like you know the buffalo shooting was another one as well buffalo has like a large far right community up there that moved there specifically because it's further away from people and they wanted to take over some towns and that guy was influenced by those types of people people like ben shapiro tim pool these types of people who have been specifically named these the thing is like this isn't even like speculation on my part these people especially these conservative talking heads were literally named in manifestos by public mass shooters specifically for their role in indoctrinating them into an ideology that pushes them to kill they are stochastic terrorists yes i 100 believe a lot of these people 
need to be banned because of what they engage in. I mean, Tim Pool specifically always talks about his his idea that a civil war is coming. You need to protect yourself. All this, all these types of things. He's even doing this at the moment. He's completely out of his mind, and it needs to stop. It needed to stop a long time ago, but better late than never because. Every day that goes by that one less person gets radicalized by right wing conspiracy theories it's, could be another person's life who gets saved. His dad makes content daily. Yeah, that's true. He is a massive failure. Tim Pool is upset because something happened on the show yesterday and he's calling out the guy who made it happen. And he's reassessing his career. So I'm not trying to be a dick right now, but like I've got 500 messages of like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you taking the show down? Are you fucking with us? You're trying to make money. I thought YouTube took the show down. No, I had to take the show down. You made two allusions within like the span of a couple minutes to murdering people. Okay. After I explicitly stated in the pre-show, do not make allusions to violence. Then went on to explain, we keep having people come here and saying they want people killed or people should kill people or that's a real conversation i think so i just i just want to make it clear that it's not me saying these types of things that are going on in tim pool's show it's him how he's like we all all the people all the conservatives and and principal libertarians that we bring on they keep talking about how much they just want to kill people they're always coming on and being like we should kill that person we should kill this person they're always trying to kill they're always telling us how good it would be if we killed more people and he's just like okay why why do you guys keep doing this i'm telling you if you can't stop people on your show from telling the from telling your audience that we should be killing people there's probably something wrong with your show there's something wrong with the people that you bring on. There's something wrong with the ideas that you talk about on platform. And there's something wrong with you. Very wrong. I mean, it's been years since we've been talking about how terrible these people are and the types of things that they talk about on their platform. I'm finally glad that they come out to talk about it themselves. How garbage their ideology is and how dangerous they are as people. You don't get you don't get mentioned as helping out with a, with somebody solidify their ideology and killing people by being just like a normal guy doing absolutely nothing. I'm sorry that doesn't happen. There's not been normal normal Joe who doesn't think we should kill a lot of people named in a manifesto from somebody who gave from somebody who specifically gave them the as somebody who specifically gave them the idea that they should be killing people. I'm sorry. Sorry. It's people like Tim Pool and Tucker Carlson and Ted Cruz and, and like people like DeSantis and Charlie Kirk and Ben Shapiro and Matt Walsh. It's these types of people that get named. OK, it's those type of people that get named. It's no I've, I've not seen a single left wing content creator that has been named specifically in a manifesto for the purposes of letting people know that this guy's ideology helped them understand that they should be killing people. OK, hasn't happened. Oh, well, maybe one day, but not, not, not any time that I've seen has not happened. I mean, wasn't one call, wasn't like the, like a Colorado shooter who had like a literal Nazi tattoo on him wrote that Tim pool was his like best friend or something. There've been so many people who spe specifically like, I love watching these content creators. They let me know that killing people is good. Actually it's crazy. It's crazy. There's something wrong. Emma Viglin went on to talk to them about that and got, dude actually threw a hissy fit. Tim Pool actually started pissing and shitting himself over the idea that somebody called him out on this. And then he goes on his own show to talk about how people keep t making allusions to killing people on his show. Like, come on, come on, be an adult for like literally one second. You got to see the full video from the majority report. I'd rather just watch the video myself, the, the, the Tim Pool clip myself, but, but I feel you. It's got to stop. Come here. Come here. Oh. Hi. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. If you're enjoying the content, hit the subscribe button. If you don't, it'll make Boo very sad. I know a bunch of you who are watching are not subscribed. Join the frenzy. You won't regret it. <laughs> Thank you, Boo.